What to expect from Honda's fourth generation pilot, why Tesla's CEO is expected to make an appearance in court later this month, and how Hyundai's Ionic 5 is powering the world's first car-powered hotel. Good morning, I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first, it looks like more dealers plan to buy rather than sell dealerships in the next 12 months. Nearly half of dealers plan to buy one or more dealerships in the next 12 months, while only 2% expect to sell in that time frame. That's according to a survey by dealership sell-side firm Kerrigan Advisors. Though the result trend seems positive, fewer dealers this year say they are planning to buy one or more stores in the coming months. This could be because more dealers say they expect the value of their dealerships to decline in the next year. Turning to product, you are looking at Honda's fourth generation Pilot. Though the three-row Pilot is technically a unibody crossover, in its newest form it represents the closest thing Honda has to a true sport utility vehicle, reaching beyond the size and capability of the midsize Ridgeline pickup. The vehicle is equipped with the Japanese automaker's most powerful engine yet, with 285 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. The vehicle stretches 3.4 inches longer than the model it replaces. The wheelbase is up by 2.8 inches to 113.8 inches, while the front and rear tracks are extended by more than one inch. Honda says adding more space in the second and third rows and to the cargo area will make for a smoother ride and greater stability. Tesla CEO Elon Musk will soon head to trial to defend billions of dollars in his Tesla pay package. A Tesla shareholder is seeking to rescind Musk's 2018 pay deal claiming the board set easy performance targets and that Musk created the package to fund his dreams of colonizing Mars. Tesla has countered that the package delivered an extraordinary tenfold increase in value to shareholders. The trial begins November 14th. Staying on Tesla, the EV maker says it is getting around a ban on direct-to-consumer vehicle sales in New Mexico by partnering with Native American tribes. The state legislator passed a bill that allows consumers to buy vehicles on tribal land without being double taxed. Tesla says it has one store in the state and began construction of a second location closer to the state's largest cities. According to the Albuquerque Journal, the new larger store is expected to open in May 2023 in Santa Ana, Pueblo. A Florida Land Rover dealer put on an off-road driving event called Rover on the Rocks to help demonstrate the capabilities of the luxury SUVs. The weekend program drew more than 400 customers and some potential buyers. Drivers got to test out their own vehicles or a store demonstrator on a rugged course. Larry Zinn, Warren Henry Auto Group's executive general manager, believes the event is a great loyalty builder between customers and his dealerships. When Land Rover returned to North America in the late 80s with the Range Rover, dealers were required to demonstrate the vehicle's off-road prowess. Even though Land Rover dropped this requirement, Zinn, one of the brand's original U.S. dealers, never did. The event has been held each year since 1987. If you are looking for a luxurious off-grid cabin to stay in, then you may want to consider checking into Hotel Hyundai. The setup uses the Ionic 5's vehicle to load technology and an outlet adapter to provide up to 15 amps of power at a time. This world's first car-powered hotel features a single guest suite, a dining area with an espresso maker, and a movie projector with a popcorn machine. The cabin is located on the countryside about an hour away from London. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to autonews.com for more news and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.